Hi there, Leo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of June the 3rd through to the 9th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Leo. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Hierophant in the upright, followed then by the Six of Wands upright. Next, we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Followed then by the Knight of Wands upright. And lastly, we have the Page of Cups in the upright position. Well, your overall energy here, Leo, is the Hierophant. A major commitment could be on the table for you this week. This Hierophant governs um, contracts. Maybe you're being offered a contract. Could be a six-month term. It could be especially important if you work for the government or you work for the education system or any religious organizations. It could be that somebody is offering you that contract. For others of you, it could be a uh, a commitment to you know uh, work in a. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know what, well, I was going to say something about working at, at a church or a, a spiritual group. I don't know where that can, maybe it's specific to somebody in particular, but perhaps some of you are committing to a new spiritual group or church or something like that congregation. Others of you, maybe you just feel like doing things more the conventional way. Others of you still could be making a commitment to a certain someone. Sometimes this can indicate uh, marriage or, you know, making that strong commitment, moving in with somebody. But it would be more, I think, marriage because this is more about dealing with the conventional, right? So contract, some of you could be signing a contract for uh, a home, uh, an apartment, maybe you're signing a contract for a year's lease or something like that. It could be leasing a vehicle. Right at the beginning of the week, we have victory all the way, baby. The six of wands here in the upright position. This is about finally getting the attention, being bestowed upon you. This is where uh, the prodigal son or daughter returns. This is where you could be going somewhere where you're cheered on. People are really happy to see you and you're feeling very victorious, it could be that you're finally getting this recognition. I've noticed that lately with the Leo readings. You guys have been getting some pretty good readings. Let us know in the comment section below um, if this is resonating for you or, you know, are things uh, getting a little bit more exciting for you in the last couple of weeks? And um, you got like the best uh, bonus read for June. You guys got the best. So... Good things are happening for Leo. Nice, nice victory here coming into the week. So could be you complete a project or something like that. And kudos, pats on the back. Everybody's really happy with what you have accomplished. Next card up, Four of Pentacles in the reverse position. Four of Pentacles in the upright. This is my little hoarder card. This is where we're holding on too tightly to old belief system. Could be holding on too tightly to material goods. I always suggest have a garage sale or do something to let go. Um, sometimes these, these material goods can actually start to weigh us down. It's not good for the energy flow. When the card is inverted, this can indicate also too on the financial front, this can indicate needing to save or go into consolidated payments and so forth. This could indicate some of you have finished paying something off. Sometimes this will come off when we just finish paying off our car or our credit cards are paying off um, a loan or something, you know, we had had to save money for a trip or whatever. The trip's done now. We don't have to save it anymore. That kind of energy could be freeing up some cash. Others of you are just letting go of old belief systems and you're not holding on to that stuff anymore. Maybe some of you made some cash because you sold your material goods. <laughs> Moving forward, we do see towards the weekend... Knight of Wands, Pajama Man is here to say hello. <laughs> um, this is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Arising. This is you coming up in your own reading here, Leo, in the upright position, indicating go ahead, you're on the right path. If there's any um, invitation you would like to uh, extend to somebody, if there's an offer you would like to put in, say for a home, you know, this kind of impulsive energy though. The Knight of Wands will just be like, oh, 
I just saw that house. It's for sale. I'm going to go put in an offer. It could be one of those things. Now, this could be energy could be either way. So it could be, Leo, if you have your property or something up for sale, your vehicle or whatever, this could be um, somebody coming in to make a quick offer to you. Now, keep in mind, the Knight of Wands doesn't stick around too long to wait for you to deliberate. It usually wants an answer right away. So this could be what's going on, or this could be you extending that offer out to somebody else. Now, this could be anything from a job offer, since the Wands do govern business and enterprise, as well as this could be an offer coming from a business partner, maybe somebody comes in and wants to partner with you. Remember, the commitment card is here, right? The contract. So it could be that you are accepting this honor or honor. I don't know. It's funny. Honor. This is kind of like an honor card. Uh, yeah, maybe you're accepting this uh, offer that's coming towards you and you are committing to it. Others of you, this could be a relationship situation where somebody comes in. The Knight of Wands is generally somebody very fun, spontaneous, um, impetuous. This is Quicksilver, though. Again, they come in really quickly. They're passionate. They're excited. And they just really want to get going and, you know, get this show on the road, so to speak. So beautiful uh, energy coming towards you or you are going towards it. Either way, it's good. <laughs> Last card you have, Page of Cups in the upright position. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Sometimes the pages can represent children or grandchildren, maybe being incredibly sweet. Sometimes this can indicate a heartfelt apology, either coming from you or going towards um, you. It could be maybe this Knight of Wands can be... Uh, issuing an apology but this knight of wands can also have a crush on you because sometimes the page of cups represents that uh, sort of immature love where somebody is sending messages but they're kind of shy or they're not fully mature in the emotional sense they could be somebody younger than you but this could also just represent somebody who's incredibly shy and has a, a sweet little crush on you <laughs> Beautiful energy. Looks like a pretty good week here. So in closing, I will be pulling one card from the Wisdom Oracle deck to see hmm, what is Leo's Oracle card for the week. We have Regeneration, number 46. Regeneration. <laughs> Whatever that means for you, Leo, it is your message. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you have a fantastic week and I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share and subscribe and I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye bye for now.